are you? Who was the friend we did meet last time? It was a rabbit. What other friends will we meet today? I will try to make the sound. Can you guess what? Meow. Meow. Yes, it's a cat. Shall we go on our story trip right away? Rabbit told the two kids, There are other friends here besides me. I'll introduce you. Come here. When the rabbit called the cat, the cat came running. The cat said, Nice to meet you. Meow, I saw you play happily in the distance. We are different, meow, and we have different voices and different ways of jumping. But I am so happy, meow, that we can be friends all together. Then the girl answered, That's right. We are all different, but we can all be friends. Yeah. Today, after meeting the rabbit, meow, the cat appeared. So let us draw a cat. First, draw the cat's face. I'll try to draw it as a circle. Draw the ears as triangles and keep drawing in a circle. And draw the inside of the ears. And I'm going to draw the face. Oh, so draw going up to the top and coming down. And then I'll draw the inside to make a circle. Yes, and I'll draw the eyes here first. And I'll draw a triangle nose and a line in a circular way underneath the nose. Please draw a smiling mouth. And I'll put some marks on the face like this. Next, I'll try to color in a pattern here. Yes, and I'll make it here too. Then I'll try drawing the body. The body is a circle that's the same, but let me draw a longer oval instead. Then draw two legs as ovals. Draw the legs in front and behind as ovals. They're a little round so you can make it a foot shape. And I'll try to draw the tail. Cats are known for their long tails. I'll make it a wave shape and I'll try to draw it. Yes. And let's try to make some patterns on the cat's body. I showed the pattern on the tail and expressed it as wave shapes. You can express your pattern with your favorite shape. Let's express this pattern in brown. Please color the patterns, including the patterns on the cat's tail. want to put more patterns in the middle, you can put more. Yes, I put the brown patterns like this. Shall I color 
with the inside of the ears round. Then I'll try to color the cat's face and ears like this. Oh, the cat seems to like it better now that its face is colored. And please color the whole body. Try to draw on it nicely in a pattern with your favorite color. I'm so excited to see what kind of cat you will draw. I'll paint the feet like this. And let's color the tail too. I have colored the whole tail. But you have only one cat! Isn't that boring? But the cat wanted to give a balloon to two friends. So, would you hang a balloon on the cat's tail like this? So please express the balloons that are on the tail. I'll put a heart-shaped balloon and circle-shaped balloons like this. And you can also put patterns, like this. Okay, then shall we color the balloons? You can color the balloon sky blue. Try to color them various colors. And I colored with red. And with orange. Wow! If you give kids these pretty balloons, they will love it. You can also color balloons nicely. Shall I color with violet here too? one bright yellow. Yeah, I've colored all the balloons. Shall we show that the cat is on a grass lawn? First, let me draw the ground. Let's mark where the ground is located. There! The ground is right here. Then, just like we expressed a tree on the grass field last time. And I will use this compass line to show the leaves are here and there. I drew the cat so high up on the ground in this way. Yes, so let's draw some clouds in the sky. Yes, and 
then I will paint everything with paint. Prepare the paint and put in some water. And I will wet the brush with water and with paint. Let's paint the grass first. Rub the paint in the palette and then check the color. You can paint the grass here. more paint I'll try to paint in yellow green right next to the green yay I've done all the grass so here we will paint in lots of colors instead of green Green shouldn't be painted here, right? So I'll rinse this brush in water like this and make it clean by tapping a tap 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 on the base here. And I'll wash it clean. And I'll paint the base here. Then I'll mix it with orange and red brown again this time. Paint the ground with white strokes like this. This time I'm trying not to use so much paint. It feels a bit rough, doesn't it? Even with the same colors and the same paint, the feeling is different depending on how much water we use. Now I will wash out the brush with water and paint the sky. I'll try to mix the orange and the yellow to paint the sky. Like this. And mix bright yellow. And I'll paint the sky. Last time I painted the sky yellow. So would you like to mix yellow and orange today? almost painted. Try to put in some more orange. Everyone, crayons and colored pencils will not mix with paint. So you can paint over crayons and colored pencils with paint. That's fun, isn't it? Yes, but be careful of the grass. Please try not to paint over the grass. Yeah, it's all done, everyone. How was your class today? After meeting the rabbit, we have found a new friend. You know, there are lots of cats out on the road in Korea too. And the colors and patterns of the cats are very diverse. You can also try to watch cats and observe them. Or maybe it would be nice to color with your favorite patterns and colors. Then let's meet again next time. Bye!